G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Bit of a quick video for you here. I've got presents and it cost me nothing. Yesterday, as you know, during the vlog and that, I was out in the workshop working on my sun servers when my elderly next door neighbours, who are an absolute gem, came in with these. Two Pioneer DVD systems. A DV355 and a DV535. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm over the moon. Let me just explain something quickly. I love Pioneer equipment. I always have loved Pioneer equipment from a very early age. The monster beast out there, my beautiful 80, has a full Pioneer car radio system in it, including speakers and power amp. Over in that corner there, I have a Pioneer rear projection 40-inch 4x3. Here, I have a Pioneer cinema-wide floor-standing rear projection TV. Now, these are both CRT. Nothing wrong with them. Bung a set-top box on them, you're laughing. Last week, my dear next-door neighbour finally went out and bought himself a Pioneer Blu-ray DVD player. This one here has only just come out of service. Nothing wrong with it. This one here has also only just come out of service. Nothing wrong with it. This one was originally purchased for that TV there. And this one was on their existing uh, plasma panel. I got both remotes. I got the instruction book for this one. Didn't get it for this one, but that doesn't bother me. So I'll have a quick look. So I've got... Beautiful instruction book that's still current. The unit's obviously older. But it's Pioneer, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm over the moon. Now, just before we get into having a look at the back of them, um, if you're wondering why I, why I still love DVD players, is I don't have any Blu-ray movies. I can't justify replacing my DVDs with Blu-ray versions of movies I've already got. I, I just, I, I can't justify it. Why, why go out and replace it? Um, I would rather, and I say rather, I would rather keep the movies I've got on the format I've got. So, um... There's the reasoning. All right. DV355. So we have coax, uh, coax digital audio, optical audio, S-video. We have uh, composite video, audio. We have component video. And that's it. And there it is there. It's a... Pioneer DVD player DV-355-S. So that's that one. Now we come to the part of Pioneer I like. And that's when things were big. And it's absolutely beautifully clean. Look at that. Not even the stickers have worn away. He looks after his equipment. I do too when it's uh, this sort of stuff. So it's pretty much very similar to their CD players of the same vintage, really, when you look at it. The only difference being is obviously the logo. I've never really loved this logo. I love the logo that had the um, ohm symbol next to it, but, you know, progression happens. And as you can see here, you've got your nice gold buttons along here. So this is an early model DVD player, but still got... Very similar functions on the back. So we have obviously our composite video, our analog audio and component out, our coax audio out, or coax digital, sorry. S video, uh, we've got a video select button so you can switch between your video outputs. We have a optical digital out and then we have a control unit in if you were hooking this up to some sort of Pioneer amp or... Um, Pioneer TV that you could control it all through the television. 
You'll also see here on the back that we have the different uh, TV formats. We've got automatic, PAL, obviously, which is what we hear in Australia, and NTSC for other areas of the world like the States. So they're my two quick presents that I've picked up. Uh, this one will end up on that TV there because that's what it's for. And this one will end up on one of my flat panel TVs that I've got in the house. So, um, and as I said, I got um, the remotes and we'll have a quick look at the remote controls between the generations of DVD. So you can see here, this one here still looks like a very retro type Pioneer remote. And obviously this one here is obviously the newest style. Very similar to the Panasonic remote controls. In some respects, if you know what Panasonic DVDs players look like, it's a very similar layout. Whereas this one is more similar to a Pioneer Hi-Fi and amplifier setup originally. So, uh, pretty nifty. And there's the uh, remote control. It's a VXX2700 for that remote. And this one is a VXX2800. You can see the difference between the two generations. You can also tell that um, if you look here, oop, I'm trying to do this one handed and I'm making a mess of it as always. You can also see the uh, difference in both height, width is the same, but definitely height and um, oh, depth is the same as well. Both of them have a no, no, hang on. I'm corrected. This one has a 192K uh, 24-bit DA in it. This one only has a 96K. So uh, you can see the vast improvements between the two. But essentially, they perform the same function. This one doesn't do MP3. This one does. But as I said, this one here is DVD, CD, CDR, and obviously... VCD, very similar setup, just in a smaller form factor to an L Laserdisc uh, unit, but it's obviously DVD rather than uh, Laserdisc, and this one is will play everything, uh, DVD, CD, CDR, rewritable. This one here is, cannot do plus RW, but it can do minus RW, and obviously super video CD. So there you go. There's my presents that I picked up yesterday. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll get them mounted in the next day or so, and we'll uh, we'll have a look at them on screen, especially this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.